Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to craft a perfect resume for every job using AI. And not only are we using AI, we're gonna use a free AI tool that will help us go through it step by step. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if I go over here, I'm on my LinkedIn account, and I've just found, I just clicked on the jobs tab up here at the top, and I'm just looking at a bunch of different jobs, and I selected this one here. And when I go through it, I'm thinking, well, you know, I don't know if I'm, you know, if I've got the right stuff on my resume for it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go first off to this website here. It's called fixmyresume.xyz. Yeah, it's a little shady at the dot .xyz, but it, it, it works. I've tested it out in advance, and it is free. And when I put in my uh, resume, and then I added it in, you're going to see here that this is what it did for me. It gave me what it liked about my resume compared to this specific job, what it didn't like or what it, my weaknesses were, where the gaps are, as you can see here. And then it gave me a whole bunch of suggestions to add into the resume. And after having looked them over, they're pretty darn good. So let's go through it step by step, you and me. Okay, so the first thing, I'm going to go right here to LinkedIn. And there I am, Curtis Pike. I'm going to go up here to the Jobs tab, and I'm going to select one of these jobs. Let's select this one here. I'm going to click on this job. This can work with anything, Indeed, LinkedIn, whatever. I'm just using LinkedIn because it's easier for me. I'm just, I'm just logged in. So here we go. I've clicked on a job. I go through this little job description, and then here's where it gets interesting. So here's the responsibilities, and here's the qualifications. I don't really care about the perks and the work-life balance and all that. These are the things I want to go through. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to copy and paste in these responsibilities. I'm just going to copy them. And then I'm going to go to Resume Reviewer. And on Resume Reviewer here, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to select Other because this one is, what kind of job is this? Video Editor or something? Motion Graphic Producer. Okay, yeah, whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to select Others because there are a few predetermined ones. We're Senior Software Engineer, etc., etc. And then I'm going to copy in the job description. And then I'm going to hit Enter. And then I'm going to actually copy in the qualifications as well. This is not necessary, but I find that it helps me uh, get a little bit of a better answer and get a little bit better response here through the website. So there we go. We've copied in the description and we've copied in the qualifications. Now the next step and the final step really is to upload your resume. I'm just going to click on this little button. And then for me, my resume is right here. It's an old one, but whatever. It's in PDF format. So do keep in mind, it doesn't look like it accepts .docx at this time. So you may have to change the format. It's easy to do in Microsoft Word. Anyways, click on open and then press though. I'm going to go ahead and click on review my resume. And here it is. It's basically spitting it out chat GPT style. And it's going through the whole thing. It took all the qualifications. It took my resume. And here it goes. It gives me my strengths. It gives me my weaknesses, so uh, I don't have my degree in motion graphics. I've got Coursera courses and LinkedIn learning courses, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe, you know, put some focus not on those areas and on different areas. The really important one is gaps. So I don't mention creative direction. I don't mention experience in reviewing design briefs. So I know that for this specific job, I need to add that in, which is easy to do. And then it gives me a whole bunch of suggestions. And by doing this, you know, you can take your, your standard resume and then you can customize it and tailor it for every single job using this AI. And it really just spits it out that quickly. That's really all there is to it, guys. It's a free tool. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.